My name is Andriy Shevchenko, and on behalf of Media Center Ukraine, I would like to welcome all those uh, journalists who are covering our fight for freedom. And we're going to talk to uh, Mr. Slavomir Sierakowski, who is a Polish writer and journalist. And a couple of weeks ago, he launched a fundraising campaign to buy a Bayraktar combat drone for the Ukrainian army. Uh, Pane Slavomir, how, how did you come uh, to this idea? First of all, hello everybody. Um, it's a pleasure to be with you and of course kind of a ob moral obligation. So always when I talk to Ukraine media, my heart is really beating strongly, much more than to Polish or American media. Um, unlike Lithuanian action, this one is very spontaneous, like even too spontaneous. We had no preparation at all. As you know, in Poland, there is a strong uh, political conflict, if, if not a civil war, like political, of course. So there was no chance to be everybody on one side. Uh, I am the liberal journalist from the opposition side, so I couldn't really count that the government will join me. Of course, at the end of the day, I hope that the government will cooperate. There is 100,000 people that took part in this uh, action and there will be 100,000 people more probably um so uh we are about a half we gathered about the half as i said without any preparation totally spontaneously now media joined us of course a part like this liberal part so it uh it took it took us two weeks to 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 reach a half of course it's a july holidays i mean there is a huge inflation in Poland, about 16%. So people are really scared. But this is exactly the moment when this action is the most needed. Uh, to remind Poles, to remind Europeans that no matter vacation, no vacation, there is no vacation for Ukrainian soldiers. And we have to do the same, like still support, still uh, push uh, governments to send weapon and if not it, we should do it uh, ourselves so this is the idea of the action how much money do you need to collect and how far have you got at this moment we are uh, we we reached about 50 percent um so we need to get 50 percent more of course we gather it in zlotis so uh, if you want to know how much is it in euros it's like every day, unfortunately, uh, different currency exchange. Uh, as I said, inflation, pretty unstable economic policy of the national bank. So, like this, like ex currency exchange is uh, is really jumping uh, up and down. Uh, of course, uh, a lot will depend on the government, and a lot will depend on the Bayrak. The inspiration, like the direct inspiration, came uh, not that much uh, from Lithuanians, although, of course, like they invented the action. And I'm happy that Poles follow Lithuanians. They behave absolutely excellently concerning Ukraine. But the idea came from the fact that I, I read in the, in the newspaper, in the way to the conference in Stockholm, that company Bayrak decided to give gratis, to give for free three Bayrak tars for you, for Ukrainians, after you gathered uh, money. So I thought, listen, if Lithuanians did it, if Ukrainians did it, it would be a stupid uh, thing not to try in Poland. Uh, so this is, this is why I thought, listen, let's take a chance. Maybe the company will behave in the same way. Then we're going to support you in the double way like you know humanitarian aids but also weapon that you need at first of all and we know it here so how much money do you need for, for one drone i think about like something about five million us dollars this is what i heard this is what i read of course it's always like it depends on what kind of like 
what kind of equipment uh, you want to get with Bayraktar. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't put any higher uh, price uh, because it's still galactic price for poles. This is the speedest and the largest sum in the history of this portal that we're gathering. And this is probably the biggest uh, internet platform to gather money. So even if it takes much more than three days, as Lithuanians did it, congratulations to Lithuanians, they're absolutely perfect. But as I said, it's completely other on the other way we do it. Um, so still, um, but ho let's hope Post will give a little bit more than we can be able to arm it, the Pyraktar to arm it in a better way. Of, of course, I'm counting on the fact that, you know, Germans, maybe they do it, uh, maybe, maybe some other nation. I would love to uh, see them following Lithuanians, Ukrainians and Poles. Maybe it's going to be a domino. We'll see. We'll see how the Bayrak company will react. But for them, it's a huge advertisement. They are every day in media in Poland. Like, you know, Bayraktar, now every, everybody knows in Poland what is Bayraktar. And before this action, only people who were really closely followed the war in Ukraine. So I hope they will, you know, they will help us. We'll, we'll see. It's not an easy thing to do it. I know. And of course, no need to, to remind us that uh, uh, Bayraktars have proved to be very efficient uh, uh, at the battlefield and they really help us to save uh, Ukrainian lives and to fight, or fight for our freedom. I think for most of the Poles who donate money to you, to your initiative, it's probably the first time in their lives when they spend personal uh, savings for, on, on weapons. Moreover, it's for weapons for another country. What do they tell you? What are their reasons to donate? Actually, people very often uh, write uh, in their commentaries that I'm shocked that I do it, but I have to do it. Uh, people, we have, we have um, very famous um, people like you know actress actors people who are very famous because they were engaged in humanitarian aid actions uh, and now they after some hesitations some of them but now they 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 say or they publish their movies their little uh recording when they are saying listen this the, the action to, to buy for Ukrainians Bayraktar is going on. We decided to support it. Please, people, go for it. Click uh, the link and support financially this ship. Uh, so, so, so people are very often surprised that they do it, but they see and they understand that they have to do it. That it's a war. We cannot win the war without weapon. And people, you know, really followed what's going on in Ukraine, so they understand it. Of course, the fact that Bayraktar behaved the way they behaved, uh, it's lit, it, it, it makes situation easier, I would say morally. For, I have no problem in sending you weapon. I'm criticizing German government as a member of German Council on Foreign Relations. I wrote hundreds of texts about it to German press, American press, Polish press. So for me, no hesitation, but for some people, hesitation. But then they know, and we are telling it, that the Bayrak can give you for free, Bayrak, and that, that money will go anyway for humanitarian aid. So I'm telling to the people, listen, don't hesitate. Probably there will be no problem with this. Um, and people follow us. Well, all the Ukrainians... Uh, uh are really uh, amazed and impressed with uh, the way the Poles have been treating our tragedy. And uh, the compassion, the empathy, the generosity that your nation has shown to the Ukrainians is absolutely extraordinary. And if you think about our two nations, we've had some uh, dark times and some dark moments in our, in our common history which makes the situation even more special, even more extraordinary. 
How would you explain this uh, change in the mood and how would you explain why the Poles have taken our fight, our tragedy so close to their hearts? Okay, I'm a, I'm a tough political commentator, let's put it this way. So uh, I won't tell you, um, I will tell you the, the truth. The, 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 the reason is Russia. I mean, we are in the same, uh, I, I would say, in the same situation. Uh, you are fighting for us, okay? You are defending us, not only your, yourself, okay? So if somebody is, like, you know, realistic or want to tell the truth to yourself or herself, then must know that, like, if you're going to lose, we, we are next. So this is probably the main reason why Poles are so supportive. Um, we, as you know, our history was problematic before uh, and could be problematic even today. But Poles understand and they understood after 1945, slowly, slowly, this was not like, you know, Poles used to be nationalists. Uh, um, there are nationalists in Poland. Polish government, it's not the most liberal government in Poland. They, they best friend of the prime minister is Viktor Orban. Now they are diverging. So, as you know, I mean, um, from the Polish perspective, uh, I'm, I'm realistic that the reason is Russia. Uh, of course, many people feel empathy, but it's much, I would say, better situation for pragmatic reasons to be empathetic. A year before, when we had refugees 200 kilometers up at the map, uh, Syrians, Iraqis, like they were smuggled by Lukashenko to Poland. Polish government behaved horribly, horribly. Many people died. So I would say that, um, uh, honestly speaking, it's pragmatic reasons plus moral reasons, of course. Um, and but it's okay. Listen, it's okay. No matter why, it's first of all the it, good that Poles were able to support you to welcome you in our flats i was very engaged also in it everybody was engaged poland is one big ngo or one big pro ukrainian ngo because don't forget it's a society that helped you for the first first of all then local governments and then at the end of the day the 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 the, the like the polish government but of course, the Polish government did a lot of good things, like a president. They are my adversaries, political adversaries. But when it comes to Ukraine, there are no adversaries in Poland. Many people who, who uh, decided to, uh, to support the action that I organized, and don't forget, and really, like, they identify me as an adversary. I'm, I'm, I'm a fighter. I'm a TV fighter. I'm a, I'm a writing fighter. I'm criticizing the government. I'm just like any other political commentator. So, so, but I must tell you that when it comes to 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 the uh, pro, like Ukrainian, like uh, when it comes to foreign policy concerning Ukraine, there are no adversaries to me. I will support and help Polish president. I will support and help government. I will do everything what is possible. I will even talk to the devil uh, to support you. Okay, I can dance. I can sing. I can do whatever is needed uh, that Ukraine will. Uh, will win this war um, for many, many reasons. Be also because I respect you that much. I mean, I am amazed uh, by the fact how you are fighting and what kind of strong nation you are. You are giving example to the entire world. You are changing the world. Na if Finland and Sweden completely changed the policy and they are in NATO, it's because of Ukrainians fighting. If European Union decides to have defense policy for the first time, it's because Ukrainians are fighting. If Polish government decided to diverge from Orban, it is because Ukrainians are fighting. And I can tell you like 10 times more sentences. You are changing the world, our souls and everything. So I'm going to do everything what's possible and many other Poles will behave the same. Anislav Mire, I would like to thank you, and through you, we would like to thank all the Polish people for this extraordinary support. Uh, Slavomir Sierakowski, Polish writer, journalist and columnist, who launched a fundraising campaign to buy a Bayraktar combat drone for the Ukrainian armed forces. Dziękuję bardzo. Thank you. We